What's going on world? Welcome to the first part of a special debate in which we talk about which project is the best for each London borough. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned for part two coming very, very soon. What's going on, world? Welcome to this special edition of the Rhymes Like Dimes podcast. You boys, Peter. Yo. Mohamed. Yo. Myself, Yemi. Today, we are arguing and we are going to find out what is the best rap project from every borough of London. And to do that, we've got some very special guests, a returning guest, writer, friend of the pod, Naz. Hey. And a new guest, writer, Seth Pereira. Hey. hey. Love my guys. How we doing, guys? Good, good man. Good. Said. Yeah, man, not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. It's going to be a, a fun one, I think. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it, man. Mo, you good? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You know me. God is good all the time. All the time. All the God time. Is good. God there is we go. Good. There we go. I haven't said this in a while, but shout out to Drake's in the cut. Hey. Drake's. He's here hey. finally. Drake's. He's been a wall. He's been a wall. He's been we still one... don't know what he's been doing. I know what he's been doing. He's been a new in a minute. He's been a new. We know that much. <laughs> if I can't say what he's been doing. He'll get in trouble. What's he been doing? I can't say what he's been doing on air, but I know what he's been doing. Do you know what he's been doing? Come on, now he's got escapades. Escapades. Yep. Escapades plural. Yep. Hey, Drakes, you might have to come to the congregation, bro. You might need to hear. No, don't worry, we're gonna have really a homie court. Bro. You might, you no, might no, need to no. hear from you, bro. Okay, okay. 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 He even smiles like a villain. <laughs> Ever let this guy smile? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> like, Kiki smiles there. Gonna, you got a trim as well. I don't think you know what this guy's got. I saw that. Man can't get a trim. Nah, man. Not for no reason. You know when you go missing? No one does it here for no reason. If you go missing for five weeks and you come back with a trim, you've been up some bullshit. You've been up some bullshit. Yeah. Well, <laughs> love to see you regardless. And thank you guys for joining us. Um, this is going to be a fun one. But before we get into all that, if you're watching on YouTube, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. And if you're watching on DSPs, be sure to leave us a five-star review wherever you're listening as well. It really helps us out. Now, to the nitty gritty. Mm. Um, we're going to do something really different today. Um, we are going to decide in this big, big dunya that is London, which project of rap, grime, drill, the rap persuasion is the best from every borough of London. Mazo. Now, if you're not familiar with what a borough is, it's essentially just like a massive network area for a number of different areas within a place. So New York has its famous five boroughs. London has 32 of them bitches. Don't know why. That's crazy. It's, that's yeah, crazy. I have no idea. And that's across North, London, South London, East London, and West London. And today, each of our guests and our guys here are going to be taking one part of London each and arguing for each borough from that place. Mm. Representing North, mm. we have the most North London brother of all time, <laughs> Mohammed. Come on, nice, only right, only right, only right. Why are we clapping for right? Hey, I don't know why yeah, we're clapping. Still. I'm clapping I'm for him. I'm clapping for him. I'm telling you why, <laughs> tell you why you clap. Because uh, you clap because it's North London. You clap because uh, it's Harringay. You clap because it's uh, Tottenham. Why do you keep guys, arguing? Uh, no. Okay, save right. that. Save, <laughs> save that. Save <laughs> that. <laughs> representing <laughs> South, <laughs> representing South London, our very own Peter. Hey man, you see how no one said nothing. Hey man, you know what I mean, give us time while clapping. Representing East London, Naz. Hey. And representing West London, Seth. Hey. And I'm just here to make sure it doesn't get too violent. So. Adjudicator. <laughs> trying to be, trying to be, trying to be. So, we've had to do a lot of research for this one. Oh, man. Um, I think we've learned a lot about just London in general, the scene in general doing this. Mm -hmm. But um, right off the bat, guys, how was this for you? As far as like finding things that you might have been familiar with or things you may have never heard of, trying to find projects for certain areas that you might not even known a rap scene even existed. Yeah, it was difficult, man. It was difficult even just trying to see like what rappers were from what boroughs, because it's like different knowing that they're from South, East, North, West, but to narrow it down to the borough that was, yeah, that was quite tough. Mm -hmm. And then to then find the album that you thought was good enough to represent this argument. Oh mm -hmm. man, yeah, that was a bit Yeah, mad. that was the most, that was the most tricky yeah, thing man. about it. Some boroughs are just, just some boroughs are naturally Non-existent. Yeah, they're naturally just weak. It is what it is. Like, mm. it's, it's, yeah. London's big then. Not every borough can have. Mm. I think sometimes when I when I couldn't find enough albums, I was I just thought, wait, is it just I haven't done enough research? That's why I can't find anything. But yeah, like you said, maybe some, it's just, yeah, some boroughs are just yeah. some like boroughs are no, they're yeah. weak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and some of them like weak. are on the outskirts, and like rap is predominantly found in inner city places. Mm. Yeah, so with all real. these outskirt boroughs, I was just yeah. like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. some yeah. some I couldn't hack it. Some I just couldn't. 
Yeah, man. I, no, I apologize. And obviously, there's some but more boroughs in some areas than others as well, so that mm-hmm. would have factored into it as well. Absolutely. What was the smallest? Was West the smallest? Yeah, I feel like West was one of the smallest. The West is, West is yeah, the smallest. West is the, the smallest, biggest, yeah. yeah. The biggest is South. Oh, bro. Yeah. So, South, and then it's a draw between North and East. Mm. Really? Man. Yep. I would have East would have been the biggest. In theory, yeah. I would have had the easiest job because I have the smallest area to cover. Bro, <laughs> yeah. you've got the most <laughs> quay most, area, yeah, bro. It's difficult. But I've got like, the most yeah. random ones that you probably never heard about any rappers from a lot of these places. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It's Hounslow Borough. Yeah. Hounslow was a borough. I've got Hounslow. Yeah, Hounslow's Doom's cool. from Hounslow. Yeah. We're going to get into that. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> spoiler. That's literally the first thing I thought of. It's, it's not a prediction, it's a spoiler. Shout out to Hounslow. Huh? Yeah, he's okay. yeah, he's from Hounslow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, salute to him. Mm. Yes. Well, this is going to be fun. I'm sure we're going to learn a <laughs> lot today. Yeah, boy. So, um, how it's going to work is we're going to tackle each borough from alf- with, from alphabetical order, so from B all the way to W, and we are going to for every borough, each person is going to argue what they believe is the best project, and if there are any projects that they want to add into the mix, they can do, and it will all come to a general consensus of what that best project is. Mm-hmm. Now, let's get into it. We're gonna start today by going to East London. We're gonna start off in the borough of Barking and Dagenham, which covers areas like Barking, obviously, Dagenham, and Chadwell Heath. Mm-hmm. Naz? Yes. What is the best project to come out of Barking and Dagenham? Put our papers back in, roll back in style. I feel like, you know, it would be a disservice to say anything else. I love all his projects, but I think that this is such a seminal body of work and, you know, it really shows his talents and how he's elevated as an artist, you know, the kind of production scale he's got on there and, you know, how thoughtfully created it is. Um, so it just, it makes so much sense, no matter how much I love the Trading Days, um, the trilogy, I just think, you know, roll back in style is the best album to come from Barking and Dagnum. But then honorable shout out to Devlin's Bud, Sweat and Beers. I think that it's such an important album to British rap in general. Um, you know, it's got songs like Runaway, London City and Community Outcast on it. I think that Devlin is a rapper sometimes he's overlooked. And I think his contributions to grime and, and hip hop like generally should just be, you know, respected and acknowledged, um, particularly this album, because, you know, it's it's reminiscent of a particular time. Mm. Sweet. Well said. All right. So we decided on pot of paper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah definitely. definitely, definitely. No, yeah, 100%. percent Full house. All right. Pot of paper, <coughs> real back in style. The best project to come out of Barking and Dagenham. Cool. We'll move on now to North London. Mm. Yeah. We're going to Barnet. Yeah. Oh, mad. Um, which covers areas like East Finchley, Mill Hill. Don't ever go to Mill Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. It's far away, brother. <laughs> Literally two hours door to door. Well, at least from my yard, anyway. Mad. And Hendon, which you oh. know. Yeah. I couldn't think of anyone for this. Really? Mad. I couldn't. Finchley, I drew a blank. Mm. Mill Hill, I don't even know where that is. Mm. And Barnet, I just, I couldn't. And I genuinely thought of. I, can you? Do you know anyone? No. That's what I thought. Mm. Like I sat on this and I was <laughs> like, bro. And I know, I know North, but. I couldn't think of anyone for East, like Finchley, Barnet. Mm. And you know what it is? I think if I think if somebody was from Finchley, they would claim a little bit closer to the Brent Cross sides. Okay. I don't know why. I just feel like they will try to skirt away from there is no I don't think there's a rap scene in Barnet like that. The only mm. thing I know Barnet for is Barnet College. And Edgar Davids played for Barnet. And Edgar Davids played for Barnet. Yeah. 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 Random as well. Yeah. Yeah. And Arsenal always played them in pre-season friendly. And Arsenal well. always played them. And Finchley, the only thing I know about Finchley is there used to be some arcade place there that used to go on a regular um, in my past life. Mm. But... <laughs> I don't know what that means, bro. It means something. You know damn well what that means. But, yeah, like, I just could That was... I drew a blank on that. Mm. Like, complete blank. Yeah, and I sat head, on I that for time. Barnet, yeah. That's the one where I was like, no, I need to find someone for Finch that I couldn't. Mm. I sincerely couldn't. So basically, there's a space in Barnet for a rapper to fill yeah. and to come to yeah, go yeah, 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 from yeah, that yeah, bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like that's just... A, some areas... There's some areas in... It's going to happen in West, North, South. It's just a void. Like, it's just... Yeah. For whatever reason, mm-hmm. but I, do you now. know, it's as well. It's also when you said the inner city, mm-hmm. Barnet is very much yeah. out. It's not. It's London, but it's kind of towards the outskirts. Mm. I think I've only been there you know when I'm on my way to the yeah, airport. Yeah, like mm. Barnet. Like... North don't clean Barnet. <laughs> <laughs> like not even in a fucking way. Yeah. Like Barnet and Enfield don't get counted as North London. It doesn't. Barnet is. So what do they get counted as? Barnet. <laughs> Enfield is Enfield. Right. So Finch, it's like Croydon. Yeah. 
No, but, but recently. Croydon definitely gets slammed, though, isn't it? You claim Croydon. Like, we, mm, like, it depends ish, on who you're ish, asking. Like, yeah. if you ask it depends on who you're asking. If you ask them, like, but, but no. Yeah. Like, the only thing I know about Bunny is the 34 plus calls there, but like, nah, I've never. Yeah. Never, yeah, never, never. I've never heard a rapper go, Mill Hill. The hell? All right, well. Mill Hill. Don't even sound like a tractor. Mill Hill. No, you imagine the hardest shit from Mill Hill. Imagine where you from? M17. M. Don't do that. Come on, man. Mill Hill's not M. I'm trying to shit, bro. It's an M. It's an M. It's an M. It's an M. But yeah, um. Apologies to anyone that raps from there. Um, you can be amazing. Well, yeah. No, salute. Yeah. Listen, there's obviously a gap there. There, 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 there is, but mm. you're going to find it, fortunately. Yeah, yeah. All good. I, I tried, though. Fairs. All right, then. We'll move swiftly on, then. We're going to South London mm. now. Mm. To the borough of Bexley, <laughs> which covers areas like Bexley Heath, yeah. Sidcup, yeah. and Irith. Yeah. What? The oh. end, where the N89 ends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real South ones now. Yeah. Peter. Yeah. What's the best project from Bexley? Um, bruv, there's, there's not many rappers in that in that side of London. Do you know what I mean? Um, like Thames Meads, kind of falls within like the Bexley Borough, um, Greenwich as well, ish. But there's not many rappers from there. Any, any from Thames Mead. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. so you could count maybe like her first EP, which is under twenty five, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so you could possibly say that uh, Pen Black Bells on it, and um, I thought that was a strong project. Um, because the scene's so small. There wasn't really much to, to pull from, innit? He also got a rapper called Paul Stefan. Um, mm. he's, very, he's very dope. Mm. Um, and he had an EP called um, Street Misfits Forever, which I thought was very strong. Um, so I'll probably just go for one of those two, to be honest with you. If, I was, gonna pick, if I was gonna pick one, uh, I, I can't not give it to Paul Stefan, innit? Because the political connects, but. <laughs> <laughs> just in case he's listening, right? <laughs> I hear it. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna go for Paul Stefan's EP. That's interesting because Thames Mead obviously falls into another borough that we're going to get into as well. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's going to be interesting when we get to that point. But yeah, yeah. Paul Stefan, yeah? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Salute, salute, salute. How do you feel about that, guys? We Not mad at Yeah, he's hard. He dropped that tune where he sampled Picture Me Rolling, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That he's he's crazy. been doing his thing for a long time. Yeah, he's, 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 been, he's, been, he's been spitting for ages, yeah, isn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do not, like Paul Stefan. Yeah, he's, he's, he's hard. I'm yeah. not mad at it at all. Not mad at it at all. Yeah. First. All right, Paul Stefan, you're the best from Bexley. Hey, we'll keep a move. Hey, man. I'm All sure right. I'm going to get a text about that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you probably should, to be fair. All right, cool. Back in North now. Okay. Ooh. To the borough of Brent. Okay. Which covers areas like Wembley, Harlesden, and Kilburn. Oh, Ooh. you're eating. Yeah, this is come good. on. That is North. <laughs> that's, that's strong. Come on now. Glad you did your research. <laughs> 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 so, Mohammed. Yeah. I'm pulling up now. What is the best project from the borough of Brent? You are eating right now. I yeah. Am. I am. For one man alone. Yep, yep, yep. And you said Halston, right? Just so I'm I sure. did say Halston. Kilburn okay, as well, isn't it? And Kilburn. And I'm going to go for... This might surprise you, man. I'm going for nines. Mm. It, does, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it doesn't surprise <laughs> me. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. Which project? Crabs in the bucket. Ooh. Oh. It was either that or Crop Circle. Really? Crab, yeah. Crabs in the bucket is... Not I'm going to say this right. Because that was one of the first times... I think... Not one of the first times I listened to nines one of the first times I sat on a project from start to end and yeah me if I'm not mistaken is that the one we went to we went we went to his live show for crop circle we went for crop circle cool mm. but I remember crabs in a bucket is one of the first times I took him in mm. um that sounded wild mm. but the first <laughs> that was the first time I listened to his album fully um and was like <clears throat> this guy can rap his ass off and I remember originally I don't know why I was always hesitant about nines and that's not to do with originally me being a K-Cock fan I mean being a massive K-Cock fan when I was growing up so I just naturally like I, I don't I you know when it's just that tribalism in you when you're just like, two people don't yeah, get yeah, along, yeah, yeah, you're naturally you going to be tribalistic when you're like, I grew up on Cape Cock. I grew yeah. up on, fully grew up on Cape Cock. So it was always that hesitancy. But I'm going with Nines and I'm going with Crabs in a Bucket. I'll be honest with you, man. And you could pick any Nines project you want. You could pick Crop Circle, but I mean, very well. Could, I could have gone with Cape Cock. Mm. I generally could have. I could have yeah. easily gone with Cape Cock. But, but even like One Foot Out or One Foot In, those two are really One like, Foot Out was good. Mm. Foot. Incredible. Bro, but yeah, that's the one I went for. I was I think- eating though. Yeah. I was eating. I was yeah. generally eating like it's. It was, it was a toss up. Mm. It was a toss up. Like it generally was a toss up for me. But I'm going with the first album that I kind of resonated with, and the first time I was like, oh shit, like I might be a fan. Yeah. It Why are you going be... nines and not K Coke? If you said you've always been a K Coke fan though. Because I'm going what project I think is the best. Oh okay. Not what, yeah. If I had to go which one I think is the better rapper, yeah. I'm going Coke. Mm. All day long. But if you I had to Coke go, was a better rapper than nines. Yeah. 
Uh, bro, K Cog is. <sighs> That's, uh, that's, that's, that's in terms of barring, I hear that. K-Cog, a strong argument. Agree with that. Do you know why I say that's that? That's a strong argument. Coke is a staple in my childhood. Mm. Like, a staple. Like, you know what a staple does? That's <laughs> <laughs> like, like pure like, Coke body one. I, you know when you're yeah, adding pure. pure, pure one two, yeah, yeah, do you know what it is for me? Yeah. If I I'm hear, from a place like, where. I love come that. Like, yeah, yeah. Bro, I hear you. The guy goes pure. Just from pure, I know what's going on here. I've never done a line in my life. <laughs> hey, yo, what? <laughs> pure coke. Uh, I say pure coke. Like, do you know what I used to say? Pure coke. I hear you, man. <laughs> no, look at me. I'm looking at you, You're bro. not understanding me. <laughs> so, yeah, if I'm going rapper, yeah. I would have gone coke, like, yeah. all day long. Yeah, if yeah. I would have gone Controversial, who I... If I, if I go who I listen to on a regular basis, mm-hmm. I would go coke, whether it's the freestyles, whether it's whatever it is, I'm going coke. But Do we I'm think there's a coke project that's better than... Crop circle, one foot in, one foot out. I think crabs I, in a bucket. I think Nines makes better projects. Yeah. But do you know what it is though? Nines oh, yeah. has that advantage. There you go, that but you know what sense. the problem is? Nines, yeah. and I feel like this is going to keep reoccurring with the areas we do. And I'm signing from dragging this on. Um, Nines is Nines is blessed because of the era he was making music in. When K Cole came out, we weren't making tapes. That we weren't making projects the way we are now. Mm. So Nines is benefiting from K Cole's work. If that makes sense. Like when K Cole yeah, came out, we weren't. We didn't know how to make projects. We didn't know how to tailor. I don't like, like you, I don't like you saying that. Because I feel we did know no, how yeah. to. No, no, the inf- it's just the infrastructure wasn't there. Yeah, we I, knew okay, how okay, to. The man. infrastructure wasn't there. But what I'm saying is, Nines has everything. Yeah. Nine has the infrastructure. Nine has people you could look at that's done it. Yeah. K Coke, when K Coke was coming out, bro, we was, we were still trying to it figure out. It was a different out. scene. Yeah, we were time. still trying yeah, to figure yeah, yeah. out. So I feel like Nines has had it easier, but Nines has also come from a place where he could watch his peers and his peers are making albums right. as well. So I feel like he's got. There's an advantage to stuff, someone like that. When you're yeah, rapping yeah. eight, nine years later after someone, yeah. you're naturally just going to... All the hard work he's done is now going to yeah. be placed on you. And whoever comes after Nines is going to look at Nines' project and have that to go off. Yeah. So I would have gone K-Coke as a rapper, but I'm going Nines. I think Nines makes better projects than mm-hmm. K-Coke. But pure <laughs> Coke is <laughs> different. Yeah. And salute to North London. And salute to oh Harlem. God. <laughs> so you're saying crabs in a bucket? Yes, I am. How do we feel, guys? Uh, yeah, it was an iconic yeah. album. I'll take hard, it. Yeah, yeah got I'll one. take it. It's hard not to. No, you're screwed. Nice. 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 It's a consistent. No, that's looked at me like I was. Yeah, um, I'm going to take it because everyone else is taking it. <laughs> but I don't think it's mine's his best project. Um, mm. I think I, w- I, f- I would have preferred if you went with Crop Circle, man. I thought, uh, first. You know what I mean? Yeah, Crop Circle, yeah. like, it's, it's got Tony Soprano on it. That song alone. Mm. That's the reason I would have taken it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Nines has better albums than Crabs in a Bucket. I think Crabs in a Bucket is one of my pr- favourite projects, but looking at Nines' catalogue, it's one of his weakest. Mm. Um, you know, even like Church Road to Hollywood, even though it's like less polished or like lo- um, Loyal to the Soil, less polished, they're still better projects, mm. you know. Um, yeah, no matter that. But yeah, no matter. I take it. <laughs> well, the consensus <laughs> says that the best project to come from Brent is Nines' Crabs in a Bucket. Yeah. What would you have gone with, Yimmy? Um, I probably would have said Crop Circle. Okay. Yeah. As long as it's Nina. Yeah. yeah. You would have said Nines for sure. I would have, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Mm. So just just got, to quick question, side note. Who do you think the better rapper is just quickly, Nines or K-Coke? Coke. Coke. J- rapping ability, yeah? Yeah, yeah Coke. I'm going to say Nines. Man. Yeah, I'm probably going to lean towards Nines just because I feel like the way he writes is just really unique. Yeah. He's got a unique way of writing. Mm. I think, yeah. He, yeah, he does have it's that. It's a really unique way of writing. No, they're, dope. they're both they're both dope, so. Yeah. Just... It's a difficult comparison yeah, to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he was a staple, again, I just want to repeat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some might call it blue tag. I think Nines' voice is more appealing to me. I think. I, I, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what he's I think. He's a bit smoother on his voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Coke's more abrasive. Yeah, yeah Coke, do you know what With me, I think conviction plays a big part in the way I listen to my rap. Yeah. And K Coke's conviction in the way he raps. I believe him. Is, yeah. I absolutely. Like, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Convic- I you know when you co- the conviction in K Coke's yeah, voice yeah. will take it up a level. Like, I love people that the believability is through the roof. So I know you want to move on, but I don't, don't, when Nine said, Kevin don't even know what my hood look like. Looks, I love that line. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a that's crazy cool. line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He called him Kevin as well. <laughs> <laughs> but then you know what it is. And then when, I remember when listen. Remember that K Cop? Uh, was it Listen Little Man? Yeah. You know that pussy, bro. <laughs> I don't think you know how much I love that ad lib. Like random. Of course, no, you, of course you do. Of course. Yeah, you do. I mean, do you know what it is in the middle? Pussy. Like there's no bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one word. <laughs> And did you know how he starts it? This little dickhead is pissing me off. <laughs> nah, salute to K Cole. Oh, well, I promise you, salute to K Cole. Let's move on. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. No, listen. I just wanted to get that bar off. But I'm sensing a pattern with Mo. Whenever we get to north places that he actually knows about, yeah. this is what's going to happen. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. 
I'll speed up. We're heading back to south now. Yeah. Ooh, I ain't got nothing for that. The, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, what is don't, it? Don't even finish it. <laughs> no, the, there's no one there. To the borough of, <laughs> This is fun. <laughs> to, the, to the borough of Bromley. No one's there. <laughs> Listen to me, boys. What's the next Wait, one? Who's from Bromley? What's in Bromley? Bromley's like Kentish. Mottingham. Oh. Where? <laughs> Chislehurst. I, I got lost in a train though. Yeah, once. nah, man. And West Wickham. Did you yeah. say Mottingham? Yeah. Mottingham. I can't. Yeah. Like, this doesn't even sound Wickham. like London. Bro, it's not, man. It doesn't sound like London. I don't think Bromley's London. Bro, you know how far it's only one? It's the London Borough of Bromley, sir. <laughs> no, you know I've never... Know it has the green, like, road signs. The yeah. there, it doesn't... Uh, bro, it's PR, yeah. but yeah. it is, yeah. but... Yeah, people yeah. that I know that live there, they say it's more Kentish. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I promise you. It's officially a London bar, I, so. I, I hear you, man. I promise you, I've never heard of three of them. This I, means nothing coming from you, because yeah, you don't like I anything more. I know Bromley by Bow, but I don't Bromley know Bromley by Bow. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Yeah. I was supposed to go to Nottingham once, and I typed in the M instead of an N, and I ended up in Mottingham. Oh, that's so. hilarious. That's, that's Mottingham. literally, yeah. That's yeah, it's Yeah, it's like nice, South East. It's next to Alton. That's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I was there, yeah, and I was just like, it's all green. I'm in some <laughs> broke down railway station. I was panicking, it was mad. No, Mottingham just sounds racist, man. No, so, no, when I told you, when I was there, yeah, I was shook. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. It just no, sounds... No, no, no. No, it just sounds... There, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounds spooky. Yeah, that, that, no, part, that part of South, just be, be you careful, know, You know what I realised, yeah. by the way, just before it goes to make sense? Yeah, West is really... Doesn't have that money, does it? Because you haven't even said West, have you yet? Nah. It's enough for to call. Yeah, first, 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 first. It's coming, though. So, P, nothing for nothing no, Bromley. I'm sorry, man. All right, cool. Sorry, so, Bromley, avoid to be filled still. Mm-hmm. Cool. We'll now go back to North. Oh, shit. To Camden. Mm. Oh. And uh, this is who Obviously I'm going to... places that. Camden, Hampstead, King's Cross. Yep, yep, yep. And... Mo, what's the best project from Camden? I'm going with a legend. Mm. Mm-hmm. It might not be the best album. It's, I think, the biggest game changer. Mm. For women, uh, in particular. Mm-hmm. I'm mm. a guy from Miss Dynamite. Okay. Mm. Fire. I'm a guy from Miss Dynamite. A little, a little deeper. Yeah. Okay. I'll say it one more time. T-E. Come on now. Um, oh, okay. Um, I think in terms of significance, it don't get more significant than this. Mm. The groundwork she laid for another amazing woman that I'm going to say later is undisputed. The mm. hits on that album. We sat down and done a deep dive on Miss Dynamite. She had a whole episode. For, so like, yep. it, that says it all like, I think the album's undisputed. I play FIFA every day to one of her songs. Oh, ah, yeah. Coming now. FIFA 2003. forget that, man. Coming now. You yeah. crazy. So, yeah, I went a little deeper. Miss Dynamite. I hear it, man. Mm. Were there any other contenders? Not really. I was going to end dubs. End dubs? Mm-hmm. Okay. And Akala. But Akala's projects. His first album? Yeah, his first album mm, was it's nice. It's not a rumour. But, like, Shakespeare. It's not I a think... rumour. It's a great album. Yeah. Shakespeare, no? Yeah. No, no, roll with us was. Yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. I remember hearing that needle drop in. Um, I think it was Kidulthood. They had the needle drop, and then everyone was just walking. And I was like, I remember I was listening to the song. I wrote down the lyrics just to search on Google because oh, so. I was like, this song is so hard. Yeah, <laughs> Do you know what it is though? Nah, there was there's that, but I think the gap between the significance of a little diva is mm. insane. Yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? The yeah. drop yeah. is yeah. insane. Yeah. So. It's probably better. And it has. Well, it anyway. takes you know, more. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. 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 So many classics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian, it's got too many. It's got too many. It's, it's a classic. Mm. No, it's. I think we, we can all agree. Yeah. 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 I've got it on CD. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a classic. Classic. And that's, yeah. My sister generally had that on CD. Yeah. My sister yeah. genuinely, I remember every day like rinsing that and whatever else was coming out at the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's I'm going. Salute to Miss Dynamite, absolute legend, absolute hero. Yeah. Uh, the one, best, of the, one of the pioneers, sure. one of the pioneers. Absolutely. Man. The Absolutely. best project from Camden. Miss Dynamite's a little deeper. Come yeah. on. Sweet. We're looking good over here, by the way. I don't think anyone can argue with that, to be fair. Yeah, no. The yeah, first yeah. undisputed one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's about to get interesting. We're back in South. Hey. <laughs> Croydon! Oh, oh, you're good Croydon. with this one. You think so? Yeah. I think Areas so. like Norbury, yeah. Thornton Heath, mm. and obviously Norbury's Croydon. Norbury's a road. That's not even a rural area. I mean, boy. Don't do that. <laughs> it's literally a Norbury's an area, man. Norbury's an area. Hey, yeah, Wikipedia says otherwise. You can take that anyway. Um, Norbury's an area, man. <laughs> what is the best project oh, from the borough of Croydon? You've got a lot here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think, um, so, from the conversation I had with Yemi off cam was about um, Crept and Conan, actually. Because I think Crept is from Gypsy Hill, which isn't Croydon. But Conan's from Croydon, he's from Fort Heath, which is Croydon. So I was like, can I cheat? Can I, can I still include them? VAR, yeah, yeah. He's VAR in it. So I was going to include, well, one of them. I haven't selected one, but one of them's Crept and Conan's Tsunami, which for me, I thought was like, Classic. That, yeah, that was like the the, the starting the point. Yeah, for like Captain Conan really like taking off in that man. So 
I just remember that time like it was yesterday and I just think, yeah, man, it was a very, just it was a strong era and um, the project was strong as well. Um, so I've got that listed. And then um, obviously Stormzy's from, from Croydon as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wasn't really sure. I listed both albums, the first two, but I wasn't really sure which to choose. And I was hoping you lot could help me decide that to be quite Definitely honest. not the second one. You know, I think the second one. Hell no. I, I mean, I would have probably got some Gang Signs, yeah. Gang Signs are prayer to me. It's- I he knows how I I really fuck with the album. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that album. Yeah, yeah. I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was stronger. Sure. I thought it was stronger. Yeah, all, it, but I didn't think the second one was that bad though. Nah, throw the second one in the bin. Let yeah. the rain fall on my enemies. <laughs> Wait for it. Like that. You fall that, yeah. on my enemies. <laughs> 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 fall on my. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You fucked up with that, yeah? Yeah, nah, nah. You like the pop boy with H. You like pop boy with H. Nah, G Sap. I would say G Sap. Did I tell you that's the day I found out your brothers are even? Because oh, we went to Stormzy, we, we went to go watch Stormzy live, innit? Yeah. And then he started doing um, Blinded by Your Grace Part 2. Oh, and he, oh, he, and he sat down. I didn't like the song. <laughs> that's imagine? a banger. Everyone is standing up. I didn't like the song. Yeah. That's a banger. But yeah, that's I, heard, a banger. I, heard that, I heard that in the rain, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, swear. What's it called? I think when he did All Points East. Brother. <laughs> that, was, that was so spiritual. You only listen to Stormzy. No, 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 that's just a great point. You only listen to Stormzy in the rain. When it's falling on his enemies. I said, fall on my enemies. Hey, hey. I will, I'll, I'll go G Sap though. I'll go yeah. G Sap. I'll go G Sap. Yeah. It's I got probably... cigarettes and fish. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's got yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got cold, cold, yeah. First things first. First things first. First things first. Yeah, yeah. Bad boys. Bad boys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I guess that's it was actually a the... cold album. Bro. Yeah, Bad Boys, yeah. I think, is my favourite track on it. They're like, who's Carlos again? I think, <laughs> I think Lay Me Bear, the one where he's talking about his yeah. dad. I love that song. Yeah. Yeah. That I fucked that was dope favorite. as well. I fucked yeah, with First Week First. That was dope. First Week First. And Cold, I even liked Cold. A lot of them songs I liked. I didn't mind that either, to be fair. Yeah, I liked Cold. Was hard. Yeah, G-Sap's yeah. definitely his best album by far. Yeah. Absolutely. By okay, okay far I guess we're going with that for the best one in Croydon then. All right. So the best project from the borough of Croydon, Stormzy's Gang Signs and Prayer. Salute to Stormzy. Cool. We are now taking a venture for the first time oh to West London. We are West. <laughs> we are Where West. Are we and we are going to the borough of Ealing. Oh my God. Ealing. I'm so happy we're going to Ealing first. Which Ealing. covers areas like Acton, oh. Southall, oh. and Ealing. That's where I'm from, in case well, you guess. No, Southall. Oh. Southall. Okay. Ah, cool. Um, Seth. Yes. What, what is saying? the Sorry, best? I've got, I've got to draw for my notes quickly. Um, what is the best project from the borough of Ealing? I'm gonna go a bit rogue. Um, I think my choice is an album called Friend of Mine, Foe of the Music. It's about an artist called Warlock. He's mm-hmm. from Southall. Um, and it, he released this in like 2004. And it was at a time, like we were saying off camera, like a lot of early grime artists weren't making albums, but he made an album. And I think it was just sonically just super different. Um, he was like spitting over different beats, he had a lot of different subject matters, he's had a song about his mum. Um, yeah, I feel like it, I would liken it to Ghetto Gospel in this, in, in, in this sort of how it, how he packaged it. Um, and he was selling them CDs out of his car, like mm. he was doing it organically. But again, being from West, we, we were a bit of an island, especially in that, in, in that, in, in that, era, in that era, where no one really checked for West London artists mm. that much. Ever like like mm. we we discussed enough camera like you don't even you can't apart from like Central AJ Fredo Digger you can't really think of any other rappers from West mm. and there's a reason why because no one was making albums mm. but he was one of the first mm. so he's he's my choice mm-hmm. but I've got quite a few I've got two others um, I've got ne- Nito MB fashion fashionably late mm-hmm. he's a driller yep. from Norfolk Racecourse Estate I think. Um, I, he's one of my other choices, but um, again, he's someone regarded as like a drill. They call him the Godfather of drill. I don't know whether that's probably a bit of a reach. Um, Contentious. Yeah, Contentious. Very, very, it's, just a bit, it's a bit salacious, isn't it? Just, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll say he's probably my other choice, um, but yeah, I think Warlock has to be my number one choice just because I feel like he was ahead of his time, too ahead of his time mm. to the point where mm. it would have, yeah. And as far as I suppose is putting West London on the map in a sense as well, right? Yeah. 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 And yeah, I've got I've got even a third choice if we wanna um it's it's a group called Dark Side Fam. They had two EPs, Pen to Paper and Love and War. Um and like they had a member Phase One is is one of their members. He went on to become like a funding member of Piff Gang. Oh, um, sweet. Oh, sweet. Yeah, nice. phase one is well. I like phase one. And Super Dirty was also from was an also in Dark Side Fam. Um and yeah, Brutal, uh, Brutality is one of the MCs. He's like a songwriter now. He wrote um, that Head and Heart song by Joel Corey and Emineke. Oh, it's got over like one billion streams. 
So like, a lot of these artists went on to do influential things, even though the tapes might have just stayed mm-hmm. popular in where we in in, in Elin in West. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so I think my choice is Warlock. Friend of mine, further music, I would implore you to listen to it. That's mm-hmm. the only one I'm going to say I would like you to mm-hmm. listen to yeah. it, out of all of my selections, just because. I think mean, he's crazy ahead of his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Neo NB was a shout as well. Yeah, that I think I had shout. to just to keep it current. I don't want to like yeah. be yeah. an old head and just say. No, it's cool to be an old head, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, join me on that. <laughs> so, so it's the chief. I rap, old man. Head. I rap, man. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I, 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 that's who I would say. Nice. I'm su- I'd be surprised if anyone has heard it. So No, I haven't. No, yeah. yeah. but yeah. you make a compelling argument yeah. as yeah. far as yeah. like what it did for the area and just like the area it came from. So yeah, man. I think blown up locally is what you, yeah, and I think unfortunately he never really carried on with music for whatever other, other reasons. But yeah, mm-hmm. he blew up locally and yeah. Unfortunately cool. Unfortunately never carried on with it. We happy with that, guys? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So the best project from the borough of Ealing is Warlock, friend of mine, bow of the music. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna move now back to North again. Chat mm. to me, chat to me. Enfield. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Covers areas like Edmonton, Enfield Town, and Southgate. Okay. Mm. Mohammed, who you got for us? Cool, so Enfield, forget about it. Southgate, forget about it. Um, we'll go to Edmonton. <laughs> um, well, Edmonton's the Ops, isn't it? Edmonton is the Ops, but I'm gonna go for, I was genuinely, I was a kid in it. And by the way, I pay tax, I don't care about it. Um, the Edmund and Tottenham I'm a grown man but <laughs> um, Black the Ripper mm. I had a mixtape called Hollaback which was fucking phenomenal mm. mm-hmm. like rest for, in peace bro, rest in peace yeah, rest in honestly peace, rest in power rest in power but I remember this dropped I want to say when I was in year 10 year 9 year 10 and I remember it was kind of the times where they all started dropping tapes the mm-hmm. Reg dropped Teacher Training Day he mm. dropped Hollaback it was just a big thing going on in Especially North London, the Edmonton and Tottenham sides. So yeah, I'm gonna go back the Ripper. I could have gone Tion, but Hollaback means more, way more to me mm. than yeah. any of Tion's projects. And Black the Ripper was he was he's an icon for North London. Like he's a mm. staple for North London. Like he yeah. means a lot to North London. Mm. He's one of them ones like bro, his first mixtape was called Black is Beautiful. Like he came off the rip on mm. some super positive shit. Like yeah. he came off he knew his worth off the rip, no matter. He was I'm not going to compare him to Nipsey Hussle at all, don't mm. get me wrong. But he came in the game talking about... Neighbourhood no, hero. Yeah, like he was the neighbourhood hero in Edmund. Yeah. He generally was. He was still real with it. Yeah. Yeah. But he came on some know your worth, know your power, know who you are type yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. While still talking greasy. Mm. So the Nip comparison... I think the Nip comparison is... I get it. Mm. Even, mm. Like, but obviously he didn't blow like that. But mm. he really was the neighbourhood hero. So like, I'll go... Mm. I'll go I got Hollow Back and um, Black the Ripper, 100 yeah. million percent. It has a really good song on it called My Mind's Battle. Yeah. Yeah. My Mind's Battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and that song, when I first heard it, I was like, this is incredible. Mm. What's your favourite track from Um, Black? Uh, it's tricky. It's techie. It's techie. It's techie. It's mm. Can't Control It on it. Can't there. Control It's on it. I love it. Can't, can't Control It's on it. it. Can't Control It's definitely on it. Mm. Um, it's techie, will I? It's yeah. techie. I can't yeah. lie. It's techie. But... No, salute to Black Ripper. Yeah, salute he's super influential as well. Because yeah. I'm going to mention Hackney, um, one of the projects, like a bit of a spoiler, but he has a um, Black the Ripper had a project called the Edmund Dream, mm. and that like inadvertently or basically a bit influenced Rimsy to call his the Upper Clapton Dream. Mm. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, when I found that out, I got really gassed about it. So I always tell everyone <laughs> mm. the influence runs deep. Mm. Okay, so we're agreed on yeah, follow Black. Uh, yeah. yeah, and the more I think about it, the more I think the Black the Ripper and Nipsey thing is really. You see it more. Yeah, bro. The yeah. more I think about it now, like, I just, do you know, I said it loosely. Was he getting that comparison bro. before he passed? He was the neighborhood hero before he passed. Bro. Yeah. Black yeah. the Ripper. But was he getting a Nipsey nah, comparison? Nah, okay. nah. But the more I, the, I, do you know what I threw it out there now, mm. but then you know when you throw something out there and then you really start to contemplate, it's like, mm. the way he came into the game, the way he was speaking, the way he was, every, the, the aura about him. Bro, I've been around, I've not been around Black mm. the Ripper, like, boy, it's nothing like that. Mm. But I've been around Black the Ripper and it's just the aura he gives off is, mm. You know, you can just sense someone's aura and just the, the way they are, the way they are as a human. Did he have a glow? Yeah, say, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, you guys know me, I'm not on that whole, like, uh, I'm not him. Like, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> like, you, guys know, you know how I am, like, I'm not someone, I'm not someone. I kind of set him up to be fair. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? The way yeah, that, when I was around yeah, yeah. him, when I was around him, it genuinely was like, was, he just was a calm person. Yeah, like, he really was, he was, yeah, yeah, and he was just, he was just at one, like, he was just calm. Like, everything about him was just easy. Do you know what I'm saying? So. No, salute to Black the Ripper, <clears throat> rest in power. 
Yeah. It was one of them ones, man. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. One of them ones. Absolute legend. So the best project from Enfield, Black the Ripper's Hollow Black. Yep, yep, yep. Rest that's what really deserved. Yeah, man. Mm. Rest I'm glad you mentioned work. Black the Ripper. No, no, no. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Sweet. Sweet. Cool. We're going to go to East now. Ooh. Oh, me. Nas kind of already alluded to it, but we're going to Hackney. Oh, okay, cool. I don't which, really need my notes out for this. Why which, being, uh, um, we have to VA your Hackney. Why? Which, why which covers... Can I get my intro out? He asked why I'm not already. Which covers areas why like... Why is excited for, bro? Can I, can I go? go on, Thank man. you. Yeah. Which covers areas like Shoreditch, Dalston, and Stoke, Newington. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Naz. Come on, man. <laughs> what are you, what? Stoke Lewis since N16. No, we ain't oh, there. Oh, we're that, not doing man. that, man. We ain't there, man. <laughs> it's in the borough we of had Hackney, sir. We a whole sir. conversation about this last time. It's I'll in the it. borough of Hackney. I'll, yeah, we apologise. It's a strong VAR. No, it's you, not. If you, if you Google best kebab, it's not a very good pause code. So? <laughs> but it's best kebab. Anywho, Naz, mm-hmm. who you got for the best project to come out of Hackney? Um, it is undoubtedly Rimsey, um, with... Up Clapton Dream. Um, I think the Up Clapton Dream is so reflective of how great British street rap is. I, I think that you know, um, you've got songs like Hometown and 2010 Freestyle, um, Times of a Good Lad, and it's 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 a time where flexing came into British rap and and being stylish. Um, I think that Rimsey is one of the fourth, one of the front runners of that style of rap, and you know he's someone who went away for a while in prison and you know people were adamant on his return um showing you that you know this this project basically stood the test of time mm. i think on mixtape madness at the time as well you know it did like over ten thousand downloads which was a pretty big deal at the time you know yeah people from like japan and sweden listening um it was super important mm. and then you know obviously um someone who's from stoke newington is Klashnikov. Mm. um he's just a go i feel like um when it comes to the Pay, like building the foundations of British rap, he's one of those people, you know. Without so many of the rappers we love today, uh, without Kalashnikov, all the rappers that we love today, you know, do they necessarily exist? Because he's paved this way and he's laid the foundations, especially with the sagas of, you know, that album itself. You know, I I think there's there's two people from that style of rap that really speak to me, and it's Skinny Man and Kalashnikov, mm. and um yeah, it, it would make no sense to not shout him out. Shit, yeah, Skinny Man. Yeah, really, yeah, Skinny Man as well. He's from North London. Shout out to Pac Man as well. Where's Asko from? Was he from? Asko's from East as well. He's from oh, East, but I, I, w- I wouldn't shout out Asko. Um, I think that he's got he's got great singles. Um, he's got great free- freestyles, but projects wise, I don't think. He, yeah, know, yeah, no, I agree with you. I you would, I, I would definitely say that Clash has the best album from yeah. Hackney personally. Um, Murder, all I got. Paradise. There's too many classic tunes that yeah. Clash has had. You know what I mean? Literally had a lot of career problems that didn't quite propel to the heights. But I think, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't even think Asko has not a project as well. He just has like. No, he's got better late than never. Oh, better late than never. But I yeah, think I he's like. more remembered for all of his straight drops. Yeah, that's, yeah, hundred percent. That's, that's him. You know, like w- that's why people always want another straight drop. You know, um, that's what he's remembered for. Um, and even like in Hackney, I would have mentioned Mash Town. Um, but projects wise, I don't really know uh, if if that's what they're remembered for, mm. rather than being a collective. You know, Mash Town for who they are and lyrically what they brought, their freestyles and and their posse cuts. But beyond that, yeah. Hey, but yeah, that's why I think it goes to Rimsy personally. I mean, Clash Knockoff, brother. I, was, I listened to that. I listened to it again the other day, and yeah, it still holds up. Clash Knockoff, man. Clash yeah, yeah, yeah. Clash Clash easily for Clash me. Clash Easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rimsey. You got Rimsey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Is this the first time we've agreed on yeah, something? Yeah, my guy. <laughs> 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 Jack shit. All right, bet. Well, I'm going Rimsey, I can't lie. I love that unity. Yeah, I voted, though. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it goes You're to... Uh, to it, 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 yeah, 100%. It goes to Clash Nikov, the sagas of, mm-hmm. as the mm-hmm. best project to come out of Hackney. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool All right. Back to West now. Ooh. To Hammersmith and Fulham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got a few. Covers areas like Hammersmith. Oh, this is great, you know. Oh, you've got a banging one. What have I got? You might have got a Let's see if you say it first. Let's see if you say it first. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No pressure, no pressure. No pressure. You might just forget I'm here when I'm doing this. You get too excited, man. I got excited when he said Hammersmith. No, it's cool. What's he got? Hammersmith. Yeah. Fulham. Okay. And Chappell's Bush. Among others. Seth. Yes. Um, Talk to us. 
There's a couple good ones from um, Hammersmith and Fulham. Um, I'm not going to go with this as my choice, but I want to shout out Nasty Jack because Nasty Jack, I feel like he was a, he doesn't get his flowers, but he really brought grime to West because he was obviously a nasty crew. His cousins with Marcus Nasty, mm -hmm. Criminal, Mac 10, all them mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. They're his cousins. And he was one of the first to spit grime and kind of bring that sound to West before anyone else. Mm -hmm. And he had a tape called Shot of Music, had Skepta on it, had Flo Dan on it, had all these old school, n now legends. Um, so yeah, Nasty Jack Shot of Music is something I want to shout out just because I feel it is influential, but perhaps it gets very overlooked because I guess Nasty Jack is just kind of one of the side members of Nasty Crew and people forget that he's from West. But yeah, okay. but I think for the best project, I this might be controversial, but I would probably say it's Bashi's Catch Me If You Can. Oh! Yes, I was. I, was I know people Bashi. might say Chubba Chubbs, but I would yeah. say this, 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 <laughs> okay. there's just too many legendary songs on Catch Me If You Can. Mm -hmm. That's got Black Boys, it's got Kid to Adulthood. You know, it's just got s some songs that was just influential. I, Chubba Chubbs, I feel it like has, it's more like Nas said, Nas said about um, the training days. It's, it's a cult classic, mm -hmm. but I feel like Catch Me If You Can has that weight like that you know that you just think oh this is his this is his classic project so undeniable can i push back yeah yeah, yeah no nah, of course was kid out of uh, not, um, a bonus track on that though yeah maybe it was so i don't know if i, don't know if I would count yeah, you that wouldn't, you wouldn't count the actual that. body of work yeah and i don't Fair know enough. for me i guess I, i'm very passionate about chopper Chop, yeah so i know it's thing that's what i'm saying that's, i know i knew the best project in his catalog man, yeah when so. i said that when i when i i, I, I sent yemi yeah, chopper chops initially but yeah. then i changed my mind yeah, yeah, yeah i'm yeah, like yeah. nah that catch me if you can just it's got some influential songs that mm. i just mm. feel like i don't think chopper chops necessarily has that one song that you could ask a casual. You don't think so? What's your favorite song of Chubba Chubbs? People would be like. I would choose Northwest music. Oh, Northwest music. <laughs> it's a banger. But you can't ask a casual. I do hear what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think like everyone knows Black Boys. Everyone knows. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Not, maybe not Kiddo. Yeah, everyone yeah. knows Black Boys. I get what you've done. As a song. Yeah. Mm. So like, I think that's. Just, it's just so impactful. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just gone beyond. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's why I would say catch me if you can. Mm. But yeah. I did put slash Chubba Chubbs in my yeah, notes. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, why I got gas when you, uh, when you said Hammersmith and Fuller. I was like, he's choosing Bashi. Yeah, no, nah, I, I had to. I had to. I, I had thought, to choose Bashi. I was from North, you know? I, no, I did as well. Yeah, I, thought, I did as well. I thought he was from North West because North West music, but then I did my research and he's from West. I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. I thought Bashi was... No, nah, I, I thought he was from North West. That's all. Yeah, because mm. he used to do it. It was about uh, from one of my guys. I you think when the bus driver thing came out. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. It was in North London. That's how I knew he was from North West. Right, yeah, yeah. So what were we thinking, guys? I'm not mad at you at all. Bashi don't have a better project than Chopper Chops in that in that catalogue, man. I'm sorry. But Catch Me If You Can was cool. Do you know what I mean? And you know what I mean it was the next elevation from Chopper Chops in that bar. For me, man, Chopper Chops just represented such a time, man. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's it's really personal to me in it, so maybe Same. that's probably clouding like how I feel about it. But okay. um, yeah, that yeah, I just thought he would like he struck gold on that, man. You feel the same, Nas? I feel like yeah, personally, but like I really get where Seth was coming from. Like objectively, like Catch Me If You Can, like it's it's an it's a project that people, most people will be able to know black boys from, do you know what I mean? Mm. But Chopper Chops, it feels more like a cult classic. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't really point out to people, oh, do you know this song? Yeah, it, it's more subjective. Yeah. Yeah. Mo? I'm not mad at you. I get why you done it. I, yes. get why I, I generally get why I've done it. So I'm not mad at you at all. Mm -hmm. like, so, which, so what would you pick? I'll go with what you said. Chopper Chops? Yep, yep, yep. Mm. But okay. I understand. Oh, wow. Fair enough. But I understand why, because mm. black boys is larger than life. That mm -hmm. song's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so what you done for adult. what you done yeah, for the what, especially what you what Black Boys was Black in the UK. Mm -hmm. That song it was is beautiful. Larger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bigger than the album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm, that, I think. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of my, that was kind of my yeah. point. Yeah. I fully get why I get why you done it. Yeah. But I do think I'm, sorry, what was I was gonna say, do you think a single can propel an album to be better than it is if the single's so big? It can make it the biggest album that a seat has ever seen. Yeah, it can. It's the biggest album that the ends has ever seen. But is it the best song? Does that make it the best? Or the single culturally. so big. I does think... that make the project the best? Mm. I don't know if it can. No, but I think will... if we're talking about impact, it will push it to that. It, ma it makes it more impactful. In context, yeah. more people are going to listen to it yeah. because of this because of the single, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they would have if there's this album doesn't have an impact for a single on it. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're going to get into a, an album for another borough in a bit, but I'm thinking of people um, like Skepta Microphone Champion. Right. Mm -hmm. Might not necessarily be the best project, mm. but there are a lot of bangers on there that might lift it up to that mm -hmm. classic mm. status sort yeah. of thing. Mm. So I guess the same applies here. Yeah. 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 
Chop chops. Oh wow, man! Yeah, man. I did think if I did think if I when, when I was training the man, I'm like, no one's gonna like this. So I, I was right. Mine's <laughs> mine things are right. Listen, you're still in business, though. Right, mine's things are right. If you go to if you go to if you go to a music head, then it just depends on who you go to. But yeah, I, exactly. It makes sense why you have done it. Based yeah, on criteria, yeah. I get yeah. what I generally do. And yeah. chopper chops is so much of a cult classic because I remember during lockdown, yeah, I was building my collection of UK rap CDs. I was on Discogs, yeah. Someone was charging a hundred bills for that CD, and I was like. A hundred pounds yeah, for a CD. Great. I still bought it, but mm. I was just like, I just I like knew, that. I just knew the work of it. I yeah. was like, yeah. this is yeah, different yeah, yeah. to anything else. And at the time, you were getting lollipops with it. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No. yeah. Even, yeah. Can't yeah. replicate that, bro. Yeah, yeah, even, yeah, yeah, even the CD I've got the DVD to match yeah, it. I was, was watching the other day. I was yeah. watching the DVD like it was all grainy and it looked so cool. Yeah, man. That was a moment in time. It was. It, it was such a moment. But before we before we move on, I also want to say, obviously, Estelle is from Hammersmith and Fulham, and. She was a rapper before she was known oh, for 18th Amer- day. yeah. Eighteenth day was my other choice. Honorable mention. On, on honorable mention, yeah, because therefore can't let that one go. But yeah, she obviously on she had Mega Man, Talib Kweli on there. Like yeah, yeah, she had yeah. some legends. John Legend on, as well. Yeah, John Legend as well. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and she was obviously she got known for her singing. She won a gram. I think she won a Grammy for American Boy. Yeah. But yeah, she was a rapper as well, before, and she had like yeah, a yeah. series of tapes Nine, before. Yeah. Yeah, like before before, before yeah, the 18th yeah, day, she had a series of tapes that yeah, she was yeah, yeah. dropping. Yeah. So Salute she's Estelle. she's an honourable mention as well. Estelle. That's a great honourable mention. Yeah, 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 yeah I, can't, I can't let that yeah, one yeah, slide. Yeah, Salute to Estelle. Where are we going? Hammersmith and Fulham. Mm. Bashi Chopper Chops is the best project from that borough. Salute to Bashi. Yeah, big up Bashi. Shout out Bashi. Okay. We have reached a critical juncture of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Furniture might move, but we might. We'll, we shall see. <laughs> We're back to North now. Okay. <laughs> Chat to me. Harangay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Covers air, covers, cover? covers areas like Wood Green. Okay. Mm. Hornsey. Okay. Ooh. And Mohammed's Tottenham. There we go. You start him. Mohammed's Tottenham. Thank you very much. Now. Can you let me talk? Can you let me finish? Sorry. 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 I apologize. Uh, Mohammed. Uh, yes. What is the best project? Yes. From the borough of Harringay. Now, how long do we have? Because the thing about Tottenham is, <laughs> um, I there, don't are other, there are other areas in Harringay. By okay, way. cool. Um, yeah. A salute to all of them. Salute to Moore Stack. <laughs> salute to Abra. Salute to all of them. Now, how long do we have to decide for what the best? Just go, are? man. Can I land? <laughs> Can you let me go on my monologue, please? Thank you very much. You're right, interrupting my soliloquy. Thank you thing, very much. Man. Now, I could have picked from a plethora. Did you hear that word? <laughs> I could have picked from a plethora. <laughs> I could have picked from about 25 dozen artists. Jake's, yeah. Jake's is loving this. This could have been insane. Okay. I could have gone Frisco. Yeah. I could have gone Double S. Mm. These are Ew. even minute artists. Right. What, for best albums? Don't, don't stop my flow. Right. I apologize. I could have picked quite Let a few. Cook. I could have picked quite a few. Now, I narrowed it down to five. Yes, you heard me correct. I narrowed it down to five. Now, the five is, let me go back to my notes. I had. Yeah. Konnichiwa, mm-hmm. I had Microphone Champion, mm-hmm. I had God Save the Streets, mm-hmm. and I had Retrospective. Mm. Now it's out of them. Right. Now I need Four, to decide. Don't stop me. Now I need to decide. Mm. Do I do what I think is the best, mm. or do I do what means matters to me? Would you like our help? No. Okay. Now, <laughs> do, the key thing is, do I be selfish and think about what matters most to me? Because if I do what matters most to me, mm. It'll be Wretch's Teacher's Training Day. And I know I didn't mention that, but Wretch's Teacher's Training Day is the sole impact of why I love UK music. Mm. Nothing more, nothing less. That right. is the first project that ever made me fall in love in UK music. And I'm genuinely, I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. The first time I put that, I still remember it was me and my boy Aaron. It was in year eight or year nine. Now, you know the memories you'll never forget. I remember he got it somehow, we played it, and then the first bar was, you don't know the half about my life, a part of me is Christ. I'm a coolie kid. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. So I was going to say, I could go teach a training day, but I'm not. So what I'm going to do is, it's either Konnichiwa or Microphone Champion or Retrospective. And I generally don't know which one to pick. So I'm in a bit of a kerfuffle. you got to go Retrospective. So what I'm going to do, huh? I was going to say you got to go Konnichiwa. Yeah, same. You I was definitely have to go Konnichiwa. Okay, cool. God bless you for your opinions, guys. <laughs> what I'm going to do is... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to completely dismiss us. <laughs> I appreciate you. And mm. I took all of that in. Yeah. Hey, you see retrospective? Mm. Different. Yeah, man. Like, different. I thought, like this, I thought like this is blasphemy. Go, but go okay, cool. God bless you. Retro okay, cool. had the glow like, on that, though, man. Like, retrospective, to me, yes, uh, yeah, to me, that, it is it is out of them three. 
If salute to Avelino, but I'll push Avelino because it's very recent. So I'll push Avelino's one to the side. It is generally our microphone champion, Sh um, Kanichi, what, and retrospective. Retrospective means more to me than both of them albums, mm -hmm. just okay. on a personal level. Kanichi was impact was a bit mad though. Kanichi was impact was yeah, crazy. Yeah, Shout out to on it. So I know I'm gonna fight a losing battle if I say retrospective. So with that being said, I'm gonna go Kanichi. Mm -hmm. I think you have to go Kanichi. Um, have you listened to Retrospective? Yeah, I have not. Oh, sorry. Yeah, then I don't know if you can have you never that. listened to Retrospective. Uh, I can say that. Have you listened uh, to Retrospective? I've I've never either. You listen to? Uh, it? I, can I, say, I can say that. I've listened to like a few it's... songs, but I couldn't really tell you cover to cover what's on there, which I feel is my fault. It's no, a black retrospective is in my. It's no. I, I think that's. Retro. I feel like anything yeah. retch. No, that one I feel like he had fig he figured it out I quite just early. Don't, I don't be listening to that man. Really? What, what, what's Why the lead though? single? Is, is, is that is that, is that, <laughs> is that a tractor? No, on? I just, the lead I single was like, no. in a the get. The lead single like was in a the get. Yeah. Yawn. Yawn. Remember that? Yawn, forget yawn, about yawn, violence. Yawn. Yawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yawn. Oh, yawn. Okay. Forget about violence. I'm skate boy flat. That's not even the best response. No, he said what was the was it too lead single? The only time he's been non boring to me was when Tractor came out. And that's really? the worst song. I don't oh, even I like, that really like that song. That's a, that was so worst song. And I hate Tractor. You yeah, know what no, no, like no, I like Tractor. Tractor and Unorthodox. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I hate Unorthodox. Uh, uh, that was his radio single, wasn't it? Yeah, it was radio. You know when they go radio and it's just like, oh, you're. But he ate when he went radio. Nah, he did. But I mean, personally, personal level is retrospective to me. But I understand. I'm with you on that. I understand everyone going to Kenichiwa. I understand why. It would be I think impactfully. Cool. It's just too. It's too. It was just too big at the time. It was, it was just seismic. Yeah, too many. Mm. Yeah, too I'm many. sad you didn't say blacklisted though. Yeah, I love that album. Same. I love that album. I think that's better that's than great... microphone champ to me. Yeah, I think so as well. No, yeah, I don't champ even know why microphone champ is in this conversation. Yeah, because yeah, I don't think. <laughs> I have no idea why it's in the conversation. <laughs> I don't think it was good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> you know, no idea. to me was. That's not even. That's not even in Skepta's top three. It meant something to me. It meant something to me. Look at me. But it's not just about how you feel about it though. It's what I think is the best right. and everything best is what's the key word we're looking for subjective all right man but <laughs> are we going for kanishi what oh wait are we making it subjective or objective because i thought when we're choosing best albums it's like what you think is about the, the rose tinted glasses it's, 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 like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's mo and it's tottenham so it's gonna no, be no, subjective. No, no. tottenham is the only one that <laughs> so you're telling choose. me when skeptic came out the gate swinging with ace hood flow you weren't like okay this is on one of the best projects you've same shit different day Castles. 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 Even Batman and Tivoli was a was Bad a vibe. Tivoli, what a tune. Yeah. <laughs> I took everything you guys said in. I took it in. I listened. What Mastermind. I oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm going Kanichiwa. I still prefer it. Yeah. I think front to back. Everything. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Front to back. I feel, I feel you. Yeah. I feel I, you. I, he experimented a lot with like, that retros as well. Retrospective. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Text me back. Right. Like, the the I'm context. Don't get me wrong. If I will die on the hill. Retrospective being the best. Take away objectivity. Yeah. Re retrospective to me is the best. Like it, it will. It's different. But I, I guess we're it, all is, it is. It's almost impossible to like avoid the impact of Kanichiwa. Yeah, yeah, you that's what I'm saying. No, 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 no. You can't escape. That. I, so I agree. If, if we all go Kanichiwa, I'm not mad at yeah. it. I feel yeah. like yeah. it's a disservice. I feel like it's a disservice to just be like its impact though. That's it's the actual, no, yeah, no, shut down. Yeah, shut down. That's not me. Musically, it's just great yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't. You, you're not a Cass is Dead fan because Cass is from Tottenham. Yeah, Love Cass. Um, Cass dropped one of the best albums. Of like last famous year. last words. You don't, listen, you don't listen to anyone that wears a mask. You see this? Yeah, I'll be honest with you. We're gonna get to it when you get to the MF Doom section. Okay, cool. You just, is it is it is it literally the mask? That's not his vibe. Generally, if you wear a mask, mask. yeah, it's not the mask. Yes, it is, man. No, I think it's more <laughs> the content. It's one hundred percent the mask. If it's not like street things, no, no, then no, no, you ain't no, really on relax, it. Relax, it's relax, the relax, truth. But he's got some That's street. He's got, got some. Street street he talks a lot about traffic and drugs. Yeah, That's another genre. Most of the time, like most of the time, that's kind of don't even waste your breath, bro. No, don't do that. But famous last words. Have you listened to Cassidy? Yeah, I have listened to Cassidy. Do I listen to Cassidy? Is another question. What have you listened to of Cassidy? I don't remember, bro. But I've listened to Cassie's Dead. But nah, just salute to Cassie's Dead. Well, life salute him. But nah, I can't do it. But um, fair enough. Yeah, Kanichiwa. Mm. Yeah, I have to say Kanichiwa, man. I, 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 too I, much. Too even much. if you were saying retrospective, the rest of us will go with Kanichiwa, innit? it? So but, are you going yeah, Kanichiwa as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah I go yeah. Kanichiwa. Cool, cool, cool. Drake, you happy with that? I'm not mad at it. Though, like, I just want to preface it. I'm not mad at it. Kanichiwa is a like, for the album to me. I just cool. To preface it like it's not me being mad. All right. After much deliberation, <laughs> it took a lot. We've decided that the best project. <laughs> From the borough of Haringey, Skeptas, hey. Kanichiwa. Nice. Well, we're staying in North, 
Okay. Ooh. And we're moving to Harrow. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. Covers areas like Stanmore, Pinner. Yeah. And Harrow. Mm-hmm. Mohammed, what you got for us? Um, for Harrow. Mm-hmm. For Harrow. Give me two secs. Um, was it difficult for you for Har- to choose anyone from Harrow? I don't think I found anyone. Off top, I can only think of one person, and if not, I'm not saying he's got an album, but the only artist I can think from Harrow off the top of my head is that white geezer from the first season of the rap game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying him, but that's yeah, the yeah, first so a game show contestant. Yes, yeah, yeah, I, I, I've got someone. I've got someone. Not. I didn't send anyone for you. Um, for he's quite new, I, I, Jen. Though um, I think he's from Harrow, so if he's not, this is really embarrassing. <laughs> but Kibo, he's an upcoming oh, yeah. band rapper. Oh, really sick. Um, he's yeah, got Kibo's a project good. called Fuego Baby Furtado returns it's really cool um i think he's really refreshing he's part of like um yeah the emerging grime scene yeah, yeah the new gen oh, like. sick. no salute him, salute him. Sick. but like I no that. i left i left Harrow. <laughs> is it anything no you looked at you me looked at him you looked at him you went like this um, <laughs> i saw it but, um, but yeah like, and I, I left Harold blank i left Harold blank. i just couldn't it's probably too early for kibo yeah i couldn't um, think of, yeah, I I think like, of anyone bro i blanked that like, i'm not I surprised that harrow be harrow sounds like a tough one yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah. it's one of those tough ones they've got a lot of actors out there though isn't it yeah that's that's their that's bag their the i think too. dev patel's from harrow mm. yeah sure that's too. their mm. bag all right well harrow there's a void there to be do filled better, do better, do better. salute to harrow to do you better. said do better that's <laughs> mad all right we're moving on now we're going to east this should be fun. The Borough of Havering. <laughs> I, I don't know why you're laughing. I've got something. I know you got something. something. I'm laughing because that's where I live now. So I'm really? laughing. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. I'm laughing. You're laughing because you're like, shit, I got no, nothing. No, no, no. I, I know one off the top of my head. But really? yeah, I'll see what you okay. got. Okay. Um, I did struggle, guys. What's in the area? So yeah, Havering. Covers areas like Rockford, Hornchurch, and Upminster. Mm-hmm. And that's what you got for us. Okay, cool. This one was a bit difficult, mm. but I found someone and I really am a big fan of them, guys. I feel like I'm happy with the album. It's not really an album, it's an, um, it's a project. Is it an album? Okay, it says album on Spotify. So yeah, cool. <laughs> um, this is Berwyn's Tape 2. Mm. Oh yeah, great show. Yeah, I feel like Berwyn, um, and th- to be fair, there's French the Kid that's from Rumford as well. Yeah. But I think French the Kid's better freestyles than projects. Um, in my opinion, um, Agreed, so. but yeah, w- I remember in lockdown, Berwyn dropped this project, and I remember hearing "I'd Rather Die Than Be Deported." Mm. That song blew me away. I just knew he had it. That's um, a song title, but um, literally, he's really he's super talented. He's got a song like that. He's got Rubber Band, Snakes, and Monokia, and he has this freestyle called Full Moon Freestyle. Um, yeah, I think Berwyn's super talented. Um, he's also, I think he plays piano as well on a lot of his tracks. Um, so he's an instrumentalist as well. As well, mm. but yeah. I just knew when I heard Rumford, I was like, it has to be Berwyn. I need to check him out. Yeah, yeah. Berwyn's he's a great, great writer. Yeah, really great writer. No. Yeah, no, yeah he's person. really, he's so good at writing. I think yeah. that's why I like a lot of his songs because his songwriting's really good and he's great at finding melodies and it's mm. like, sometimes you listen to him rapping but then there's a sort of indie feel to it. Yeah. So yeah, I think um, the stripped back stuff that he does is really cool as well. But yeah, listen to I'd Rather Die Than Be Deported. That's the song that made me natural to him and his yeah, musicality. You, you know what um, collab would bang? Berwyn and Jim Legacy. I think that'd be so cool. That'd be insane. Yeah, that'd be so cool. In the video, is he's that one where he's going over the bridge and he's like on the out out of the car. Yeah. Hanging out of the car. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw that was literally the video, and I was hearing the music. I was like, Yeah, yeah. Who is this guy? (laughs) Cold, cold shout. Oh yeah. Well, I'm happy to go with Berwyn. Berwyn take two. Best project from Havering. Now Peter pointed out (laughs) that I missed out. Uh, a borough in South. Probably for good reason. So we're gonna, yeah, maybe subconsciously, <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna pull up to the borough of Greenwich. Ooh, yeah. Bruv, I'm gonna just pick a song. Covers areas like Woolwich, <laughs> the rest of Thamesmead, <laughs> and Greenwich. Um, tell us, P.O., who do you have? <laughs> Why are you saying that? Like P.O., who do you have? <laughs> oh, man. So I just wanna give an honorable mention to New Brown Flex. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, just for Gash by the Hour alone. And which was on the project Rangoons Volume One. That's um, a great project. Which was yeah, I thought it was really good at the time. Um, <laughs> why, what? And they have the at feel the time. Good. Yeah, at the time I, I loved it at the time. They have the free good, uh, the feel good freestyle, the Grillers refix. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was cool too. Oh, that was I'm cool a video too. for that. Um, yeah. New round flicks. But if I was gonna pick the best project to come out of the borough, then I'll probably pick Tiny's um, Hoodie Economics. Had wife with him on it. Had Hoodie Economics as well. 
And at the time, I just thought it was the strongest project to come. Even at the, yeah, especially at the time. Not more so now, but... How do you feel about it now? Um, I mean, you know, it's dated, but it, it was good, though. I think it was better than what he went on to do with his, like, main <coughs> album release. Mm, even though I was happy to kind, kind of see him take the next step and, like, just, you know, go to, like, crazy heights and that. I just think as a, as a project... Yeah. yeah, I preferred Hood Economics over yeah, that's um, that's this discovery in it. But that's yeah, so a I'll that's a that. great project. Yeah, what? Which one? Um, Hood Economics. Yeah, 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 I've, yeah, got, I've got yeah, the CD yeah. of it. And you got the CD? Yeah. Um, I fought for that one as well. Discogs. <laughs> 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 but I remember when the the video to Hood Economics came out on Channel um, yeah. Channel U yeah. and just watching the video and being really blown away. It looks so cool. Like yeah, the whole yeah, school yeah, vibe. Yeah, the school setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool, man. Yeah. That was cool. But yeah, man, I'll, I'll pick that. Yeah. So very solid yeah. shot. Yeah, man. Cool. Where's Tiny from? Thames, Thames, me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. But yeah, he said he used to live in Peckham, though, as well. Yeah. I yeah, didn't know that. Spent some time in Peckham as well. Yeah, I didn't know that. So he's yeah. been, he's been he's around. Strong. He's on Thames, me, man. But yeah, all right, cool. So we'll go with Tiny Tempest Hood Economics. Mm -hmm. It's the best project from Greenwich. Yes, sir. Salute to Tiny. All right. Going back to West now. Mm. To the borough of Hillingdon. Mm. Oh, yeah, I got someone for you, man. Covers areas like <laughs> why say it like that for? Just because I'm really proud of this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. It's really exciting. Covers areas like Uxbridge, Ryslip, <laughs> and Hillingdon East and West. Mm. Break it down for us, Seth. Um, there's a, there's a few. I'll start with. I'll go in ascend descending order. I'll start with the ones I'm not going to pick, and then I'll end with the one I'm going to settle on. Mm. Mm -hmm. So. There's T E T E D Ness. Mm. You got you know April Showers. His April Showers series obviously had Stormzy on there. C Biz, Smoke Boys, Ray Black, Louis Ray. So he was like a he's another big prolific artist from from Hayes, which is in Hillingdon. Trap nominated another good good album that by T E D Ness. Um, there was another crew in the area called Section Eighteen. They were big <clears throat> in the early noughties. They never really dropped. They apparently dropped a mixtape. I was chatting to the manager. They couldn't get me the, the name of the mixtape or the artwork. So that's why I can't. They, they had a lot of string of singles. They were on Channel U, on and off Channel U a little bit. Um, but yeah, they were another influential peep, uh, group from Hayes. Um, but the person I'm going to pick is undoubtedly has to be Solo London because Solo London, it's only right. That's the album. Solo London was one of the very first marley rappers to do road rap and he was undeniably influential at the time this at the time this dropped it went top five in the in the uh, itunes shot which isn't a big deal now but back then it was big when no one was doing these sorts of no one making these sorts of moves you know what i mean is you know he's got songs like hennessy jealousy um um like solo london has a very crystal clear lucid delivery and yeah it was, was he a two-pack fan yeah. <laughs> That's why you laughed, didn't it? <laughs> Just saying, bro. I'll yeah. call it that. <laughs> <laughs> Hennessy and Jealous, pa Pirates, another one of his popular tracks. Um, yeah, I think So London would have been huge if he didn't. He quit music to focus on religion. Um, but yeah, So London is only right for me. Uh, anyone from Hillenden would probably agree with me that was the most influential project. And yeah, he would have been massive if he carried on. Uh, Making music really, yeah. 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 Solo London for me. That's mm -hmm. such mm -hmm. a great shout. I'm yeah, so glad you fun. mentioned that. Solo London, my fucking guy, yeah. man. Because I feel like all the first Somali rappers to come up were all from Hayes. Because you had Wise's Abshir as well, yeah. and mm. Young Somali Soldiers, that whole collective. Yeah, so yeah. Solo London was one of them as well. Solo mm. London, legend, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, big, big, big legend. Big, very influential. I ain't heard that name in years. Yeah, ago. same man. Solo London. I ain't heard that name in years. Did he have a song called Purple Haze as well? Yeah. Yeah. That was a banger. Yeah, even YSS, yeah. I ain't heard yeah. YSS in yeah. Yeah, YSS was such a shout because I because because I am from New a minute and like we have a Somali rapper called Sketch. Yeah, and like they the and I remember like growing up like on Bluetooth, uh, YSS, Absher and like Sketch they'll send each other disses and like it would just be bubbling like on BBM like oh mm. he sent his diss he sent his diss hey, bro, and it was it was a time. Wait, so Solo London was such a time as well. Yeah, yeah so I used to London. rinse YSS back in the day. Yeah. Every day, I can't lie. Did you pride? Yeah. Yeah, he had a song on, yeah. he had a few freestyles on Link Up TV, I think. Yeah, he as did, well. he did. Yeah. And then he said that bar about, I just want my song like Kanan. Mm. The way people just start doing it for each other for no reason. Why are you sending it for the only other Somali rapper? Yeah, no, it's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> 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 what happened to him though? Who? Kanan. Who? Kanan? Yeah. You stopped weaving the flag. Oh, is it? Peace. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I scared, don't do that. Sorry, that was really funny. <laughs> From the sky, man. <laughs> don't that. encourage him, man. Oh, no. But yeah, you fell right in that. I know, I did it. But no, honestly, bro. 
out of 10 out of 10 shout. Yeah. 10 out of 10 yeah. shout. Yeah. Right. Solo London. 10 out of 10 shout. Oh, honestly. Let's get some flowers. Okay then. Yeah. It's called It's Only Right. It's Only Right, yeah. Solo, Solo London's It's Only Right, the best project to come out of Hillingdon. Can you tell mm. somebody who get mentioned on the podcast I'm here for him? Yeah, yeah of and it's, I feel like he's one of the only smarties that dropped a project because yes. even for like, you know, the like Walton Forest I told you I'm going to struggle with, like, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll mm. get to that. Mm. Fair dues. I know, I know what you're gonna, yeah. I know yeah. Nah, bro, yeah. honestly. And even like that's Greenwich. One, that's one of my favorite shots. Like one of the most oh, iconic, you, like, shots, I feel yeah. like we're just gonna go back to this super quickly, right? Go but on. Greenwich has the most iconic Somali rapper of all time. His name's Lee Boy. And he was the first rapper in the history of UK music to have a Bugatti in his music video. And he had a, and he had like a Warner Boys chain because mm-hmm. he was a part of this like gang called Woolwich Boys and super iconic, super legendary. Boys, yeah, yeah. And like, he never really had a project, but like everyone just knew him for being, he was the first Somali guy to have there was a, a, a period of, in his music like, video. Mm, there was a gap between a f- bunch of Somali rappers being there. Mm. Yeah. Then there was a period of no Somali rappers and now mm. we've got back to Somali rappers. Yeah. And, and none of them had period, projects as yeah, well. There was a period mm. of YSS sketch, um, solo. There was just a period of best Somali rappers mm, 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 yeah. and then they went quiet. Mm. And then- What do you I, think was the reason for that? What, the quietness? Yeah. I feel like Somalis are innately, there's a struggle whether to rap or not with Somalis right. yeah. because of the religion aspect of it. Yeah. Somalis are always going to struggle to, like look at Solo, Solo was rapping and he was going well and then he focused on religion. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a guy called, uh, what's his name? It's going to annoy me. Richie. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I was going to speak to him for Wolfenstone, but oh, I'm gonna, yeah. don't worry, Wolfenstone will get he, to it. He was going clear with it and then he left to focus on the Dean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even as someone has, Chunks that was singing. Yeah, 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 he yeah. left to focus on Somalis are always gonna find it tricky to, to balance, navigate, yeah, to yeah, balance yeah, music yeah, yeah. and yeah. That's why they never uh, dropped projects. Yeah, that's why Solo London was I'm probably the only one time. Yeah. At the time, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was iconic. And Megs as well. Yeah, Megs. Yeah. Yeah, 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 bro. Like, like I'm a massive fan of Baby Man, but yeah. it's always gonna be a struggle or to or we want rapes. There's always gonna be a struggle between the two of mm-hmm. interlinking the way you want mm-hmm. you want to make music, but. Mm-hmm. The religion aspect it's always yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. a tricky thing for somalis in the music mm-hmm. industry yeah because mm-hmm. even with you mm-hmm. for camden like you had like some of the greatest somali rappers from there like broad day or like yeah. too smoky yeah. but they Ooh. never dropped any projects yeah. you know and they struggled a bit with it but that's always in the media yeah. that was a nice tangent to go on. yeah I can't, i'm so glad i've got to speak about somali rappers about time I did. that's all insight yeah that's all insight yeah. thank you guys yeah, man. all right <laughs>